Hello and welcome everyone back to Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Let me get the sound on there. How is everyone doing this evening as uh, we are approaching a new area to explore? I don't know what that area will be, but hey, we finished up the last one, uh, defeated our second Light Warden, and that's always cool. So how is everyone doing? How is the sound levels? All that stuff. Amy will be here tonight, uh, but she has to help out the kids with homework and um, then uh, get you know get them to bed and whatnot. Uh, so she will be here, just not yet. Um, <clears throat> but hello to Oscar, DGC, Alpha, Oni Link, uh, Game Belt Summit, Fa 56, uh, Boo Scary Helicopter, of course. Alas, who um, I'm so sorry you're overwhelmed by, uh, because of college and DGC because you're you're just feeling tired. And geez, Rusty, coming back from a huge study session for your final exam exams. So good luck with that. Tired for Ogreton, tired for... Man, everybody's tired. It's the end of the year, I guess, but that's rough. Watching and playing Lord of the Rings. You know what? That's a good way to spend an evening. I will, yeah, that's not bad. Hey, Claxon. No worries. Glad to see you. Saying, uh, sorry, it's been a while. Uh, it's been busy these past couple months. Uh, I'm taking Japanese at a language school, so I won't be able to make Monday streams either. I'm not saying staying tonight either. Do my sister's birthday tomorrow. No worries, Clax, and I still appreciate you being around and, you know, always, always just, you know, whether you're here or now, not, uh, whether you can make it, I understand a life happens. It is a very, very common thing. And Rusty, thank you very much for that gift sub going to Super Paper Pokemon. Uh, very much. Uh, appreciate that and game belt playing trails of cold steel and soon be finishing very cool I uh, speaking of RPG stuff I'm gonna just going to extract the material for this because there's no reason to have it here um, so I had a very dumb moment uh, this earlier for those who are on tw Twitter you might have seen it so <laughs> I have been playing a little bit here and there sea of stars and I uh, got to a point where you need to find three skulls in order to open this door in order to fight a boss. And I, you know, thought I was ready to take on that boss, thought I was all set to go, all that thing, all that stuff. And it's like, okay, that's, that's, that's just where we're at. We'll get that, uh, here soon. And, um, crap, the door won't open. Well, I haven't fought this boss yet. What do I need to do? Like, what the heck? Uh, it's like, I'm pretty sure I need to fight the boss next. So I actually got in touch with somebody who does like bug control and stuff uh, with um, sabotage and they're going through trying to come up with ideas and they just say offhand, what dialogue are you getting while you're at camp? And do you have these these uh, these items? And I look and I have these items and all of a sudden a memory clicks uh, where uh, you just see um, where they asked me this one thing and I'm like, Oh my god, I do vaguely remember sometime over Thanksgiving break uh, playing a little bit and actually beating this boss. So this thing I thought I was stuck at wasn't actually stuck at. I'm like, oh, you dummy. <laughs> so, you know, that, that felt smart. That felt really smart. Um, so there's that. Uh, meanwhile, we do have uh, some... Uh, Donations. First up, uh, Smash Matt with 100 bits saying, Hope you're doing better than I am. Oh no, crashed your car today. It wasn't hurt badly, just a few bruise, bruises mostly from the airbag. But man, dealing with the fallout from a car crash is never fun. So, uh, the sooner my insurance gives me an estimate, the sooner I can actually move on from this. Trying to play Super Mario RPG and look in the meantime to cheer me up. I am so sorry about that, Smash Matt. That sucks. Uh, <sighs> car, yeah, car crashes are never fun. So I hope I hope we're okay with that. And uh, Eggroll with 600 bits saying let's uh, let someone else else be death, not realizing that Smash Matt donated the 100 bits before and accidentally cl cl uh, claiming death themselves again. Whoops. Um. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and I did. Uh, you know, of course, we do have Trails of Cold Steel as one of the requests. Um. So we got that, and eventually, eventually get to that. Who knows? Um, yeah, at least I'm not stuck. So there's at least that. Uh, yeah. So there's, there's yeah. Bug control solution changed brain. That's the way I wish. <laughs> um, been playing Honkai Star Star Rail a lot. So much so that both uh, Integrate and 14 are now on the back burner. Wow, impressive. 
All right. Well, that is how we're doing right now. And we already got our good friends, Vandal and Sayo here. So we're going to invite them to the party for now until Amy gets uh, before Amy gets here. Just to have us be able to join up together and all that. Claxon with 250 bits. Thank you so much. Saying some good news. I got a PS5 Slim. Got a PS5 in October, but returned it soon. Uh, as soon as the Slim was announced. Well, there you go. Hopefully it all uh, worked out there. So, yeah. As far as my week, it's been a f okay week. It's just... Uh, right now, I'm basically in the middle of... Uh, job searching. Uh, just, you know, sprucing up the... Uh, uh, resume and all that to, to try to find something to help augment um, uh, good vibes. So, yep. All seems well, thank goodness. Oh yeah, I do have the umbrella coming out now. I forgot about that. Though we spent most of our time on the road, Philly and I actually have apartments here. Perhaps now we may finally make use of them. I forgot that I had this umbrella. That's amazing. <clears throat> the city hath pe appeareth unchanged from when I last visited. There is the self-same comforting hum of activity in the air. Oh, long, long, I, yeah, it's it's never fun. Oh, I don't already have something to back to back. Well, well, I mean, I guess if you count GBG, so that's that. Yeah, true, but uh, yeah, there is. We'll get there. God, that's a good song. All right. Alright, uh, no issue with the game on my end, uh, game belt. Alright, let's talk to Ali, say, get this thing started. Ah, it's alright that we missed the hype train, it happens. <laughs> let's all play the lottery, if one of us wins, then we can help make Twitch my day job. <laughs> there we go. I'll play your game requests all the time. All seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yormor was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. Who do we have here? Oh, this looks like... Is this Solus? You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. What the hell is Solus doing coming up to us? Oh, with Cold Steel. Yeah, I the thing, funny thing is, is I know they we it was changed from Trails in the Sky to Co Trails of Cold Steel, but part of me is like, should I play, uh, should I play uh, Trails in the Sky first because I know it like references back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. Oh boy. For one to study the annals of Galian history, one would find yonder visage on many a page. Orange knows what's up. By rights, its youth should long since have faded. Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus So Scalpus, founding father of the Galian Empire. And under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. His theme is so good. As for my true identity... Just comes out and says it. I am Emmett Selk. Asian. Emmett Selk is his actual name. spoke of you a native of the source Sagittarius I thank you very much for the first time chat mate came just in time the proper introduction of Emmett Selk it looks like equal in rank to La Habrea. and you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us Alpha with a lore reminder the science had not even heard of Emmett Selk until Gaius told us in 4.5 and even he who had all sorts of info on fellow paragons La Habrea and Elidibus could only describe this guy as the aloof, elusive Emmett Selk about whom little is known. Oh man. 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? It's very rainy. Oh, it is truly, deeply infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? <laughs> oh boy, I, 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 all right, I get it. Like I said, I've said it before, but I get it why people love this guy so much. Oscar, to start the stream, I have some breaking news. Today on Level 5 uh, Direct, the majority of the games have been announced on releasing in 2024. Unfortunately, the new Professor Layton game is releasing uh, in 2025, and it's probably the same for Decapolis. Yeah, it's, I figured it was just the way it was. So, hmm. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Only Link, don't ask for explanation. I see, I see that breakdown. Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining. Had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. Rene Z uh, Zagger's performance absolutely makes this character. Oh, I feel it. What what else have they done? I know it's I'm not too familiar with British actors, but I'm I'm curious what else they've done, if anything. But you had to come and ruin it all. Thanks to your meddling. Light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters. Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? Happy to let me go, are you? Because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Look. It did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all. But that's no different from what Lahabre did. And we all know how well that ended for him. <laughs> and so... A bit more cunning. While it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Cooperation. I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. The heck? Since time immemorial, you and yours have labored to rejoin the 13 shards at the cost of countless lives. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Nay, our objective is the same as it ever was. Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. No nope. war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once, might we not seek to find common ground? Hmm. For good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew, scheme and conspire to my heart's content. Oh, wow. Looking at Xagger's Wikipedia, it looks like he mostly does live action. This might be his sole video game credit. That's wild. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye. To understand what drives the hero of the source. To determine if our goals are truly incompatible. So come, 
Shed your preconceptions. See beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may <laughs> find ourselves pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Wow. Think of it. Claxon with uh, 100 bits. So I definitely recommend Sky before you start uh, Cold Steel 3, but 1 and 2 are sort of an introduction to the Empire of Erebonia and are able to be played without you losing much by having not played Sky 1, 2, and the 3rd. Some may also say to play Trails from Zero uh, to Azure before Cold Steel 2, but honestly I usually give two, all, two different alternative orders for playing the game if you want to jump in other than release order, which of course uh, is, is the fine order itself. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> it's something I'll, I'll be it's something I have to look into eventually just because I've heard about this series for a long time but I also know it's long so <laughs> I don't know exactly what's in for there but uh, I don't know we'll see either the lurks are a bit loud or the game is a bit quiet I'm also half listening 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 <coughs> Uh, how's everybody else feeling about that? I have, obviously I have the audio, um, audio a little bit lower thanks to uh, Dungaromp. I'm going to raise up the volume just a little bit, see if that helps. Just a little bit, see what happens. Yeah, I just, I just cranked it up by about one decibel, see if that's enough. Has delivered thy proposal, and we would not dismiss it outright. If I may offer thee counsel, however, to make thy case via an illusion reflective poorly upon thy sincerity. Nice, Orianger. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Asian slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. I take my leave, friends. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon. Hmm. It's funny how naturally I feel. Like if, There's always that feeling like your character just sort of pops out compared to the other characters, but I think I've reached a point with uh, Milan where it's like, yeah, he belongs to be there. He des deserves to be there. <coughs> Excuse me. Finding common ground with an Asian. My entire being rebels at the very notion. That an Asian of Emic Selt's standing would, would, should willingly, willingly reveal himself unto us, and at this of all junctures is most interesting. It's, yeah, he's, it's fascinating how he chooses. He appears to be gone, but I won't be lowering my guard just yet. So that was an Asian. Thancred told me about them. Cooperation? He can't be serious, can he? Well, we've certainly been given much to ponder, but first things first. We should report to the Exarch. You can run along, Milan. We're perfectly capable of handling this little task. In light of your recent ex ex exertions, I, I'd say you'd have, you've earned a rest. Go on and take yourself off to bed. We'll see you later, refreshed and ready for more. Oh, he's absolutely a steam stealer. How far are we? Back this way. Thanks for the boost. <laughs> Kobama recently bought two Zelda games, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. Pretty good choices. Sorry I can't have you join Lariah. I'm saving a, a spot for Amy when she gets here. Ah, welcome back, sir. We've been expecting you. You will find refreshments laid out in your quarters. We hope they are to your liking. Will you be retiring now? 
Ooh, sandwich basket. Like you put it on the tabletop, but it also can be used. Interesting. I'm guessing this is our chance to hang out with, uh, I'm blanking on his name. Oh, once you place it, you can eat the sandwiches from it. I see. Ardbird, thank you, Soth. Hey, look, there's the sandwiches. I hope the past few days have not been overly taxing. Pray take your rest and recover. From the Exarch, is it? And with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move. You probably think you're talking to yourself. Meh. Klaxon, thank you so much for that tier one. Gifts up going to Time Sage. Thank you so much for that. That's super kind. Still, he's keeping you well fed. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. Oh, Fire Emblem Awakening is a very good uh, Fire Emblem Ogre Pond. A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was set adrift. I know little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Hmm. Not that it matters. It's Emmett's self we should be concerned about. When our world was about to be consumed by light, the Asin in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. I wonder uh, if anybody actually tried to recreate the canon, canon hero of light. And then they got to Ardbird here and they're like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, yeah, the moon. What the hell? As we were, we heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Asian's own making. They cannot be trusted. None of them. Oh yeah, default mo uh, model for the ma male here. I forgot about that. But Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did. And it cost us everything we held dear. <laughs> You're putting me off my dinner. <laughs> Tell me about Seto. What? What about Seto? What is that to say? And Klaxon. Uh, yes, I will be getting back to the Fire Emblem series playthrough. Our next one is actually going to be uh, Shadows of Valentia, just because that technically does take place after Fire Emblem. Uh, Shadow Dragon. So, and then we'll do Fire Emblem, um, the the remake of the uh, third Fire Emblem game. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big, and he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. Hmm. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change. I like that they're bonding.
That does not look like a comfortable way to sleep. We look like a corpse. <laughs> I'm going to have to emulate the uh, the third game. And we ate all the sandwiches. None of the apples. No fruit for us. Real politic. I forget how far down the line uh, Shadows of Valentia is. Oh my god, we finally get some gear that I can equip! <laughs> Something better than what I ha have. Good evening to you, sir. I do hope you are well, well rested. The Exarch and your companions are presently gathered at the Ocular. He asks that you convene with them at your earliest convenience. Let's see. Yeah, we have a lot. We have Pokemon uh, Nuzlocke's to do. We have Fire Emblem games to play. We have all of the requests to do. Ah, once again, how do we do it all? Hey, Karagosa. Do you have... Uh, let's see. Get an escort. Oh, I'm so glad you're feeling better, Karagosa. That makes me happy. Gotta clone myself. No kidding. Oh, Echoes is after Devil Survivor. I forgot it was that close. I like how we almost have a full party. Oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Was after Dongan Rampa? That would be uh Oh. Hello. After uh Dongan Rampa is Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Lest you forget I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Your Exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. It's interesting how you can't really feel at ease around us, guy. You like honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe. Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon. Like, he comes across as all charm, but she's like, yeah, I can't trust him. Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. So petty. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant is faithful 100%. I mean, Selk is an elephant. <laughs> Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Put each and every Light Warden to the sword. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Hmm. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. I am aware of this to tell of you Fire Emblem game, uh, Oscar, and actually that, that ma those maps got uh, ported to Awakening as DLC. Well, let no man say I did not try, few times it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. 
Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. Hmm. <laughs> or maybe, oh, maybe it was the second DS game that I was thinking of. Either way. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? What was that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. As if we'd believe a word that passed his lips. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. Honestly, this one. <laughs> Emmett 6-6? Six, six? Holy crap. I'm sure you will. But consider for a moment. If he meant simply to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Il Neg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. Holy crap, Lass. Right below five? <laughs> five foot? You are uh, a tiny thing. That may be. But the Wardens of Calusia, Armareng, and Raktika remain. Indeed. And their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take our meringue in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around you more that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. There you will find your stone. With her assistance, I doubt the warden will evade your grasp for long. Time to find our final party member. Is Yushtola the conjurer you and Arianje used to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is disinclined to speak with me. <laughs> you have visited her. Do you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. What's that? An etherite ticket. <laughs> A missive from Lord Vorthrin invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Lida Baral. A trap. And did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I'm willing to take. Hmm. Master Alphano, might I impose upon you to accompany me to your more prior to your beginning your reconnaissance? Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. Just for reference, I'm only f I'm I'm uh, five eleven. I think that's how tall I made uh, Milan here, or at least as close as I could to it. Uh, let's see. Should 
Be glad to reprise thee of uh, the Astrology's recent endeavors during our journey to Raktika. And Feely and I are no strangers to Raktika, but this is perhaps the first time we've bothered entering through the proverbial front door. At last I can finally meet Yastola. Thancred has told me so much about her. Before you leave, I would make a request of you. There was a church, or rather the ruins of a church, at Fort Job. Might I ask that you go there before seeking out Yastola? It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Alas, it has long since fallen into disuse. Yet within that hall there remains a tablet whose writings I believe may prove of use to Ishtola. At the very least, such a relic would make a suitable gift for your reunion. A most considerate proposal. Very well. Ere we depart to Raktika, we shall journey into Fort Job, that we might secure this relic. Alright. Let's get to Fort Job. There's for a job. <laughs> Get a drink. Hmm. I do not doubt this place may weather another assault by, by the Sin Eaters, but I, they cannot hope to hold it should the Yormoran soldiers return. Even with their limited numbers, the guard can use the terrain to their advantage. Perhaps I can convince the captain to lay a few traps out in the field. Thankrin and I have come across these ruined churches before. I wish I could have seen them before the flood. The windows were works of art, I'm told. Here amidst these ruins we will find the Church of the First Light, and within that hollowed hall the tablet we seek. Time is of the essence, my friends. Let us be quick. And just to make sure, item level 400. Item level 403. Heck yeah, let's use it. Of course, it's headgear, which I never wear because, well... Oh god, it's ugly. Thank god I'm not wear I'm not I don't actually show my headgear that often. <laughs> of course it's ugly. At the height of Lakeland's prosper <laughs> Three point boost, three point boost. <laughs> exactly. At the height of Lakeland's prosperity, uh, these sites served not as a man's final bastion, but as a testament to his ingenuity and architectural prowess. The Church of the First Light was responsible for many such marvels, building majestic chapels in every corner of the realm. Alas, the flood and its inexorable tides would drown nigh everyone, and did all but put an end to the religion as a whole. For the creatures which then did rise from that fulge and deluge were seen as agents of divine punishment, sent to devour sin instead of both whence came the name of Sin Eater. The people were lost, seemingly forsaken by their god. Yet where there is light, there has ever been shade, and t'was in the dark that they sought solace. The most devout, devout of these worshippers of shadow then did then migrate to the Rakatika Greatwood. Uh, but that is a tale for another time. For now, let us find what remaineth of the chapel here. Oh, good night, Claxon. Take care. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Despite their architectural prowess, I can make neither and make neither a head or nor tail of anything in this place. I would think the remnants of a church would be more conspicuous. Which would be most unusual, but mayhap the hall was built below ground. I mean, it does point me da uh, downward, so yes. Why, well, I do believe I found my destination.
Aye, this is, this is indeed the church we seek. It is surprisingly intact. What little is left of the churches I've seen until now is, has always borne the scars of decades of disuse. Its subterranean construction hath done, it much, has, hath done much to protect the hall from the ravages of time, yet the reason for its remarkable, remarkable preservation may be deduced from its decoration. As faith in the light did wane, so rose reverence for the dark, and its followers did want for places of worship. To be plain, the standards which do adorn these walls do not belong to those who built them, but to worshippers of the dark, the knights blessed. Getting lore drops here. Who subsequently migrated to Raktika, yes? Indeed. T'was beneath the shaded boughs of the Raktika great, great wood they finally found sanctuary. Often, many times, did Yulmar make spurious overtures of friendship unto them, but they are no fools. The Exarch knoweth full well that Ishtola, in her seclusion, doth labor to learn all she may of the blessed and their past. Tis why he sent us here, I, I now see. The tablet of which he spoke, uh, no doubt, provideth a glimpse into the history that she so yearneth to comprehend. Well then, we'd better hurry up and find it. <clears throat> Let's do some hunting. The tablet of fragment of holy scripture which would be most assuredly rest here on this altar, yet this would, I presume, also have been where the blessed placed the font of seeing, used to practice their faith. Whither then would they have set the ta tablet? Ah, it's one of these. Within the altar, thou sayest. Well, you don't say. How are you able to see it in the dark, the pl inside of the and inside the altar of all places? I serve it. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Not escapeth thine eye, which would seen. This is indeed the tablet we seek. Curious, these engravings predate the Knights Blessed. If I'm not mistaken, they are writ in the script of an ancient uh, empire of Ranka, whose capital once stood in the midst of what is now Raktika. Twill be no small matter to decipher them. Hmm, a fine gift for our seeker of truth. Tis plain the Exarch understandeth Ishtola only too well. But come, let us quit this place and make ready for our journey into the woods. Oh boy, I, you on air, airplanes at 6'4 is rough, Alpha. <laughs> ah, here we go. Pants that are probably pretty ugly. <laughs> Ere we depart, there is a custom of the Knights Blessed which I feel compelled to elucid elucid el elucidate. Oh my god. As one might expect, they deem light to be abhorrent and everything it, can t it touches befouled. Thus do they take the utmost pains to protect all they can from its taint, including their very names. To speak plain, it is the belief of the blessed that one's own name must ne'er be uttered in the light of the everlasting day. Yet this commandment precludeth not, not the use of another's. Thus do parents protect their children, and in rare cases, cases masters their disciples. Hey. Amy's here! <laughs> oh, here comes Callie sneaking in. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Everybody's saying you're going to love the next area we're going to. Sarcastically or... No, really. Ooh. It's called Raktika, but then they got its full name out. The Raktika Greatwood. Check out my pajamas tonight. <laughs> it's a shirt Derek was going to yeah. throw away. It wasn't that I was going to... I was going to get rid of, not throw away. I just... It's like... The font, there's four different fonts. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty. Uh, there is so many different fonts strange. here. I'm like, what the heck? And then it's just a, an image. Like, the image itself is cool, but eh, it's not a, <laughs> to me, not a me great laugh, shirt. So I had to save it from the throwaway pile. <laughs> it's, it's, I think I got it at E3, but it was like, not a great shirt. Oh, boy. Hey, here is life. I want to turn that down a bit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> and <laughs> I meant to, just no, it's all right. But yes, Callie came in. Uh, let's see. So it is that Ma the Ishtola has taken the name of Master Matoya. Lest we offend them, I bid you speak not her true name in the Blessed's presence. <coughs> with that in mind, let us speak with the guard who keepeth vigil at the Great Woods border. Oh. Her face, she's like oh, she's down. she hates this. She wants down so much. No, actually, she's comfy now. Oh, is she okay? <laughs> she hears Kiko. No, does she? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this way. God, I love that turtle. Best field song incoming. Oh boy. So I'm guess I'm guessing the Raktika Greatwood is the, the, our uh, the first. Uh, version of the uh, Twelves Wood. No bones in that mouse leg? Nope! <laughs> I know I have no reason to, but I can't help feeling nervous about meeting Ishtola. Be good to see Ishtola again. Okay. Well, Matt Traveler, what business brings you here? Alright, let's go. looking back on the path he has walked. The untold stories and secrets of the past can be more alluring than the promise of tomorrow. And so he braves the forests of Raktika in search of mystery and wonder. Of Ronka, to which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. Yeah, this is totally your vibe, Amy. Ooh. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. We have arrived. I'm just getting a, uh, a vast though these oh, okay. may be, they are by and large uninhabitable. Not so the swamps of Sidia, however, whose sparse foliage permitted man a foothold. I don't know if I know Lahi yet. <laughs> I don't know if I even got the Lahi in part as part of the song. <laughs> that strut. No lands must remain beyond our grasp. Go forth, conquer, rule. Oh, was this the first thing? I, mean, I was so like f focused on the visuals. Forgive me. A sudden pang oh, of nostalgia for those halcyon. Yeah, Lahi. Oh, that's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought they were saying, "Oh, my dear." Oh, no, no, it's not that. Oh. 
Yeah, it's not that. Exploring virgin territories, subjugating primitive peoples, all for the glory of Garlemald. If you've brought your ivory standard, I'll be happy to tell you where to stick it. <laughs> Dang, thank Rid. Karagosa, you are correct. Nine, DQ9 does need to re-release. To enjoy the view together, or would you rather I spied on you from the shadows? <sighs> Much more of this, and I may very well begin to regret my show of good faith. If you really want to stay, then help us fight. Mm, no, I think not. <laughs> I am an observer, nothing more. <laughs> Even shielded by the shadows of these boughs, I feel the light's presence most keenly. To accompany you is taxing enough. To fight is out of the question. I will suffer your company if I must, but not your commentary. Yeah. Thancred's not really a fan of, uh... A fan of the Asians. I don't know, I dig this song. Oh. Why choose this form here in the first? Oh. Mortal flesh is but the vessel into which we Asians pour the elixir of our souls, molding it as fits the occasion, or not, if we so choose. Be it for a year or a millennium, I prefer to retain the same form until my duty is done. So after arriving here in the first, I fashioned some hapless body into the man you see before you. Though, as your friend over there can attest, there are those of us who forego such alterations. He was ever the rash one, La Habrea, jumping from vessel to vessel, never heeding the toll it took on him. Hmm. Tis plain our Asian counterpart meaneth to follow wh wheresoever we lead, whereas otherwise he would not suffer the overabundance of light in these woods. Verily, it pervadeth every corner, and so long as the light warden remaineth, the Sin Eater shall free, uh, be free to prey upon the, these lands without sur surcease. If not as done, tis but a matter of time before the blessed succumb. Two years past, a swarm of Sin Eaters did lay waste unto their largest settlement, killing a great many of their priests in so doing. Though some few did survive, they know not how to go on. Wayward souls in want of guiding hand. For mercy, Ishtoleth hath provided that which they sorely needed. They have since endeavored to restore their home, and thither shall we bend our steps. To Fort Gone. Opinions on Dragon Quest XI music? I enjoy it, but I understand its weaknesses. <clears throat> I didn't have as much of an issue with it as m most people. Hunter's Legacy. Oh! Hunter oh I think that's our next... Uh, is that our next job quest? Yeah, I think so. Sweet, we got access to an extra job quest. And that's where I'm actually, uh, most of the soundtrack is from other DQ games, and because I don't know that, I don't, I'm you know, blind, so I, I don't know any differences. Like, oh, that's a good song. Okay, he's right off. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, you got some snow breaking free. Uh, we haven't seen any sign of that yet. 
I see little sign of recent activity, nor have any meaningful progress been made with the reconstruction. Mayhap Yashtola sought shelter elsewhere. Come, let us quit this place. Now, surround them! Oh. Well, maybe you like this. Our first Rothgar. These senators, they're not like the others. There's a reason for that. Lower your weapons, please. We mean you no harm. How is it they can speak? <laughs> it's a sin eater trick. They mean to kill us all. They're a little suspicious. This is basically the line from the original Sonic, uh, meow? <laughs> I gotta choose it. Uh, Koopo? That will seem a lot less amusing when we are forced to kill them. <laughs> Thank it. Really should watch your tongue there, Thank it. For the love of <laughs> I had hoped that by accompanying you we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. You've committed the cardinal sin of boring me. And so I retire to the shade. <laughs> Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Did you see that one disappear? Uh, I think I preferred La Habrea. <laughs> Ouch. Enough. Runar report. Master Matoya. Ooh, that's a good new look. I dig it. We apprehended them as you ordered, but are you certain these are sin eaters? The intense light of the ether I saw was unmistakable. If not sin eaters, then what? It is passing queer that Yishtola should mistake us for the enemy, is it not? Yeah, what the heck is that? Mayhap it have been too long since last she beheld the radiance of thine ether. Master Matoya, hath time truly made strangers of us? Nay, I recognize you, Urianger, Thancred. And this is Minfilia of the First, of whom you spoke before. I like that with that outfit, if I remember correctly, she does kind of look like Matoya. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Just so. And knowing as thou must that we come in peace, might I prevail upon thee to have thy comrades lower their arms? First explain this <laughs> other presence in your company, the one I know not. How are you enjoying Emmett Selk? Oh, I hate him. <laughs> Amy is not a fan of Emmett. He's good. Uh. <laughs> there is but one manner of creature in this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. My apologies. Kind of forgot that she's kind of blind. Mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Though he mm -hmm. is but recently arrived here in the first, not one but two light wardens have already perished by his most puissant hand. It, it cannot be.
Nice to see you too, Master Matoya. Master Matoya? Lower your weapons. Forgive us this hostile welcome. Come. I would give you a proper introduction to Raktika and its people. Oh well, it's time to say just line hurt me. I started Limsa and just always the first scion I met. Yeah, the two scions I started with are gone. <laughs> yeah, I started in Gridania. Uh, Alpha, before we move on, a lore reminder. If you didn't recognize that it, this is the fort that in the, that in the Shadowbringers trailer where he's stolen and Oriange are seen standing as, as the buildings are burning and destroyed by attacks. Once again, another part of that trailer ends up being canon backstory for our wayward friends. Very cool. Uh, great B-Man, thank you very much for that tier one subscription. Very much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing well. This is a good song. So imposing. Yeah, no kidding. You've been busy since arriving in the first, I gather, but I would hear the tale of your travels in more in a more suitable surroundings. With Fort Gone yet to be rebuilt, the Knights Blessed have made it made their home in the settlement to the northeast. I will await you at its entrance. Follow the path through yonder gate, and you will find me soon enough. <laughs> Just for uh comparison's sake, Amy has made it to her conversation with Ardbert. Yep. <laughs> and I, uh, I chose the uh, That's what I chose as well. Oh, they're all holding umbrellas because it's raining in the night restored phase. Oh, I see. That's fun. Alright. Well, to give Amy a little bit more time, we're going to continue with the Hunter's Legacy first. So we'll do my eye. This, this vehicle is so dumb on the ground. <laughs> and for some reason, it just feels so slow. Mm-hmm. You are. Oh, yeah. See how they lay? At least your character, at least your clothes look comfortable. <laughs> There's Lurique. When I was little, Miss Alvera seemed so much bigger and stronger than me. Though, to be perfectly honest, the way she carries herself even now bespeaks a confidence that I can't help but envy. But never mind that. We have a virtue to hunt. Let us commence our search at once, and keep your weapons at the ready, my friend. Ooh. I gotta dismantle the party real quick. See how we do. Up oh, there she is. About time our luck took a turn for the better. There she is. Ooh, get more history. What? Now? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I wish you were all here with me, but I know it's better that you're not. We have a score to settle, you bloody bastard, and this time I'm ready for your tricks. Oh, no way. Oh, that's cool. Mm. 
Never played Archer, so this will be interesting. Oh god. This does not seem to be going well. Uh, the doling era had no effect, so that did not work out. I feel confident about this fight. Okay, so if it tries to roar, use the arrow. Got it. So close to dying. <laughs> Pulsating cast bars, that's what I need to look out for. I wish I'd get my health higher than this. <laughs> okay. I had a feeling. I tried to use that arrow, but I just screwed up. Oh well. Took me a little too long to figure that one out. Oh well. There it is. Preternatural roar. I didn't notice it at the time, so that's why I failed. If I had done that, known that, I probably could have done it, but at least we'll get through this fight quicker this way.
Oh well. Oh crap. There we go. <laughs> Everybody in chat made that joke too. <laughs> And we just got to the smash letter. <laughs> yeah. I said I said it was their uh, the etherite ticket. Honestly, I think pretty people would be pretty okay with uh, the Warrior of Light joining Smash. <laughs> well, Final Fantasy XIV fans. And we're already at least uh, back to 52% for him. that. Oh, geez. Oh, come on. 47% that happened. I was so close to actually getting to this point naturally. Oh, that's cool. This, this is a cool set piece. He hasn't tried to use his sound thing yet. There it is. Almost got him. I wonder if you get a sequence like this in all the uh, <clears throat> quest lines. That'd be cool. Oh, 
Got him. So Time Sage shares with us the Render Ray's Encyclopedia Eorzea Vine 1 Rentry. I didn't realize she was in there. I haven't gotten that far yet. Look how cute Callie is. <laughs> Tough old bugger, everyone, all right? So unlike the other Warriors of Darkness, Jamora... Jor... Jor... May ultimately fell in, the, in with Arbor purely... Ardbird by purely uh, by coincidence they are bound one of convenience her senses are sharp and her skill with the with a bow polished over 27 seasons of the hunt reliable otherwise she is a truly sanguine spirit whose eccentric eccentricities <laughs> often dictates the group's mood for excuse me for better or worse she feels the weight of the first fate more keenly than her companions a burden thought to contribute to the steely severity of her behavior in the source. Okay. And CD Chow, thank you for choosing me for the, your Prime subscription. Nine months now. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Ardbert, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone, and I'm sorry for trying to go it alone. And why, pray tell, did you even try to do something so foolish? <coughs> Excuse me. If we had been here from the first, it wouldn't have done. It wouldn't have been anything even pr approaching a challenge. Back in the day, I was a bounty hunter. I've told you that much, but I haven't told you about my old partners. Together, we tracked and claimed countless notorious marks throughout Norvrant. We were the best in the business. Everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends, and somewhere along the line, we started to believe it too. And then we set our sights on Balam Quits. I survived. They didn't. I swore vengeance, but I had no idea how to go about pursuing it. Then I met you lot and thought that maybe with your help, I might just have a fighting chance. So you see, I never intended to keep it all secret. It's just you never asked. And since I'd rather not talk about it. Easier to live in the moment, you know? The next town, the next job, the weeks flew by, and after a time, I started having second thoughts. I'd lost those closest to me before. I didn't want to live through that again. Oh, okay. I haven't, I haven't gotten that far in my uh, reading of... I'm still only as far as... Um, uh, Why am I blanking on its name? Estinian's entry. <laughs> I'm at Estinian's background entry and all the uh, all the heavens wards. <clears throat> are we? Are we? Or are we not comrades through thick and thin? These bonds of fellowship between us must come before all else. Otherwise, they may as well not exist. You say the thought of losing us pains you. What of our feelings? What of our loss? What if we had not arrived when we did? You've saved our lives more times than I can count. How dare you refuse to let us do the same? And without those keen ears of yours, I'll never know what bollocks Brandon and Nilebert are whispering about me behind my back. And ignorance is not bliss, let me tell you. <laughs> Nintendo will definitely not have a Game Awards announcement. They haven't had a Game Awards announcement in so long. Oh, good night, Oscar. Take care. This one's worth a fortune, I, and fame besides. I'll wager we won't have to pay for our drinks when we get back into town. Oh, God, it's not another night to remember. Don't you worry your pretty head about our, over our fearless leader's questionable constitution. Take pride in the victory. For the small folk, we will sleep easy once they hear of Balam quits his demise. Until Arbert's drunken snore and wakes, wakes them up from their slumber. And on that note, I think it's time. I like how he actually, look how young he looks. And on that note, I think it's time it time we quit this place. And run to Ray, I trust that the next time you decide to hunt deadly game, you'll do us the courtesy of extending us an invitation. Oh yeah, it, it did technically get Bayonetta Origins. That's true. We'll get we probably get Switch exclusives. I'm just saying not anything from Nintendo 
first party. And there I thought I was doing you a favor by keeping you out of my personal affairs, selfish as it was. Oh, fine. But if you go and die on me, I'll pay a necromancer to raise you from the dead so I can kill you out of spite. Agreed. Now then, mind cutting off whatever you need? it is you need to take back as proof of the new kill? I don't want to lose our reward on a technicality. I've heard Bayonetta, Bayonetta Origins is very good. Oh, look at that, a crystal. Such a fine crystal. Why not hold on to it as a memento of this occasion? Wake up, damn you, hello? What's wrong with you, huh? That's the second time your so-called gift has cost us a chance at slaying Andrea. Y you know what? I've had enough. Enough, I say. Yes, I don't need your help. I am perfectly capable of hunting the Sin Eater on my own. Uh, good luck with that, or it's past time I told you to piss off. <laughs> good luck with that. Oh yeah, Game Awards getting rid of the world premiere. That's feels very odd, honestly. Upon our return to Gate Town, you will be for, you will be given your final payment, and we we will be free to go our separate ways. Okay, I'd have to go back to Kalusia for that one, so we're going to hold off on that. Make good time catching up, Amy, while I was doing that. Ah, Alpha's helping out. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot there's an Elden Ring expansion. I, still, I have Elden Ring, I just haven't played it. <laughs> There's a lot I have that I have just not played. Uh, and look at that, level 77. Oh, you finally got here. Yeah, Amy finally got here. Yeah, the lahi. Here, what do you think, Amy? This is gorgeous. Look at these trees. Oh, it looks so much better on your screen. Oh, this is so cool. I had to lower my quality, so yeah, yours looks way better. There you are. I was beginning to worry. Much like the Twelves would, this forest has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. <laughs> I got it. Yep. But I dig digress. Let me show you the home of the Knights Blessed. If I get to level 80 with my uh, Dragoon, I'll have to get one of my other uh, classes up as as soon as I can to get, like sort of take over. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a tree to think that these are only the roots? Finally a place to rest. To make their home here and so swiftly would surely have required no small amount of ingenuity. Most impressive feat would th wouldst thou not agree? Well, let's go to the uh, etherite. Definitely sync with that. Do my other thing of getting that taken care of. And let's see if we need mending. Nothing major, but we'll still get it.
Thiverbal is the largest of the blessed settlements. They worship no gods, instead revering darkness itself. It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of the flood. Very appropriate bow. I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. Now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. Ah, she gets Matoya's music as well. That's great. I see. Nice touch. And now you seek the Light Warden of Rektika. In the days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half truths soon lost him my trust. And thus did I strike out on my own. My work eventually led me here to the forest, which I've come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Well, go on then. Get to it. <laughs> thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya. Name of this track is the Mushroomery. <laughs> or rather, could be found. Were the area not fiercely guarded? Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. As for the tablet, I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. I can perish the thought, this told. <laughs> Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. Yes. Rocco. If there's what can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Oh, I love their outfits. So yeah, Amy's loving uh, this area so far. Thank you, <laughs> I may well take you up on that offer. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. <laughs> Stola, this is my jam. <laughs> Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? Ooh, she's as biting as ever. My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. 
if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Thank Crid did not enjoy that. He understands that I'm not the same, that I'm not her. Understands, perhaps, but does not accept. The question being whether he ever will, and whether you will, more importantly. As difficult as your circumstances may be, they are yours, not his. Tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life. But you need not make any hard choices now. Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Oh yeah, she definitely has gotten harsher in, t in time, but I eh, still, I still like Estola. All right, well, let's see what this is like. Well, actually, the other thing I want is my Chubo saddlebag, and I can pop this in there because this is where I've just, until I actually get an apartment, this is where I've been keeping all the stuff I've gathered up over time. And let's get better leg gear. The, the what? <laughs> Hey, Dan Alpha Lion, saying you just finished up Bowser's Inside Story 3DS remake today. And you know, the remake that nobody asked for and sold dism dismally. Yes, I own it, but I've barely played it. Eh, you know what? The pants are better than the helmet, that's for sure. Honestly. Honestly, they got some swagger to them. Not that you can tell because the my leg piece covers it all. You get this little bit. <laughs> uh, I think it was from um, Nintendo because it was weird. Uh, when we got games from Nintendo for the 3DS, they sometimes gave us the co codes. Other times they would actually send the physical copy. I don't know. It was, I couldn't tell you the rhyme or reason between them. <laughs> Level 74, a day in the neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm not indifferent. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me about that. I am not indifferent to Thancred's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding him to a higher standard after all these years. He has ever been a man of considerable resolve, and that is what I will continue to expect. Though it heartens me to know that some of us remain ourselves in spite of our present circumstances. I can but imagine how Alze and Alphano have changed since arriving here on the first. Oof, we can either we can throw it right back at her or agree. Honestly, I agree with her. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? <laughs> change is a part of life. We can but hope that it's but it change it's change for the better. You're right. And after my untoward remarks to Thancred, no doubt he thinks I change for the worst. I will have to I will have to speak with him later. Returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin wor uh, work on deciphering this tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look at about Slither's bow. If there's anything you need, pray speak with with Runor at the pal at the plaza. Ah, how'd you like your meeting with Ashola? Interesting, I can't believe she didn't recognize us. Well, well, remember, she sees an ether. I told you that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just couldn't believe she didn't recognize us. Mm-hmm. We have as much light as a sin eater. I thought she was going to talk about Emmett, Emmett's presence. But I guess she can't sense him. I don't think she was there when, uh... Well, I thought he was hiding in the shadows or whatever. Maybe. Oh, Amy also started in Gridania. As soon as she saw Gridania, she was like, I want to be there. <laughs> so she, she chose White Mage as her starting class. 
Welcome, friend. Welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? From the Crystarium, I see. And this tablet you've brought may help us find the Light Warden here in Raktika. Well, you are welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. Would it be alright if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guest of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knights Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. With our priests slain and our home, home in ruins, we were at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. But, but before long, she became a central figure in our community, a great oak within whose shadow may, may, many have come to find solace. That is not to say that there were, the, there were not those hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps it is the smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea. I feel whole again. Now that she is with us, I have no doubt the others feel the same. She is as much a part of the Night's Blessed as any of us, and we are grateful for all she does in service to the dark. But you did not hear this from me, yes? Now, you should know that there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to so long as they reside within Slither's Bow. To show reverence to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it is not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Gralia, who is who is this that's sending me a friend request? Do I do I know them? Gralia. I love this song. Oh yeah, I'm pointing out over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, a toy one himself wanted to. Do, uh, Does anybody know who uh, Growly is, or just a random request? No idea? Hmm. <coughs> oh, Batfox, you're Gralia. Okay. I always like to know before I... I believe it is. No worries, Bat Fox. I was just trying to figure out who who it was. That way, I was like, "Oh, okay," just making sure. But welcome. What did Minfilia say? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Should you see any of our people come to this chamber, they have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Raktika. We use the water stored here to cleanse ourselves of the light's impurity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but is one of our most important. Would you two kneel for just a moment that I might rid you of the light's impurity? <laughs> good, luck, good luck with that with, for, with that for us. Or pure light. <laughs> Oh, we know Lahi, uh, Sumo Moeni, don't you worry. As Runar lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. And with that, you've been cleansed of the light's blighted touch. How do you feel? I'm not sure, to be honest. Not refreshed, exactly, but I do feel different. 
Has this water been, tre been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priests. They are practiced in the arcane arts. As such, it is said their prayers imbue, imbue the water with a faint dark energy. I don't know if I know Sokin's rendition. A prickling sensation. No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant, unpleasant sensation, but I too felt something strange. Hmm, the dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect, unless... By the gods, Master Batoya was right! You are Sin Eaters! I jest, I jest. What you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. <laughs> ah, Runar's cool. Perhaps now would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the people of Slither's Bow. For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Alan Tuta. Alan Tudyk. Got it. In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways to say, uh, one might say, good evening. The world is not safe as, it, as safe as it once was, and this greeting lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or a gesture we should know? I too, I would hate to offend anyone. Oh, Final Fantasy XIV's music is so good. You need not worry. Merely speak the words Alan Tuta, and they will... And they will know you are as, as they will know you as friends, friends of the blessed. I can't talk today. Oh, hey, Fetch, uh, doing well. We we've just reached um, uh, the Great Wood, so we're learning what the blessed are all the blessed the blessed are all about. I will await your return here. Now go. They would like to be heartened like to be heartened by your knowledge of our ways. And say Alan Tuda to greet the villagers. Okay, gotta bring that up. I was, I was gonna say, I like Final Fantasy IV. It's one of my favorites. Amy is so excited to see what female Rothgar look like. What's he in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the elderly woman smiles warmly. This is a neat place. Ellen C. Welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will find poison in near everything you see, but fear not. Our medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask, and it is yours. Oh, yeah. When is the Japanese Fan Fest? I know it's coming up, but I forget exactly when. I think you misheard, maybe misheard me say 14 when I said 4. That's all right. Not a big deal. Uh, I gotta wait till January. For some reason, I thought it was December. Oh well. Hear that, Amy? Only got about a month to wait to f see what the uh, female Rothgars, Rothgars look like. Ah, newly come traveler, Alan Chassis, and welcome to Slither's Bow. You must forgive us if we seem strangely reserved. We are quiet and tax taciturn, pe taciturn, taciturn people. Jeez, can't talk. January 7th, okay, so really not that far away. Silent and serene as the sunless sea, the quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Ah, you're, you're talking to Runer now, too. I think that's for them. I forget, but I think it's them. Like we're okay, but you know it's more about the, more about them not giving their true names. I hope your stroll about uh, yeah that worked. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but already I'm starting to feel at home. 
There is still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now I can see now how they built such a thriving community. What else do we have to learn? Ah, you are returned. Very good. No doubt they were glad of your company. It has been too long since we have had visitors. Remember, if you have any questions or there's anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Ooh, Ogre Pond's birthday is in two weeks. Very nice. Care goes to your birthday's in six months. Mine's in, like, ten months, but that's okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for your stay. As friends of Master Matoria, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand... be my pleasure. Uh, I have, I've only dropped 119 frames, nothing really worth noting, uh, um, Oni Link, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Might be Twitch itself. We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug, a jug and water, take a jug and water the crops in the square. May if I may I help too? Of course, one of you can do the filling and the other the watering. Speak with Ursabel when you have finished. She will be relieved to hear the crops have been tended to. While you take care of that, I will see you to your room and warm meal. Hmm, been happening a lot for some people. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with Twitch, but it's not on my end, oddly enough. Some people just notice some stuttering on Twitch, but it's just it's not it's not me. There's nothing really I can do about that. Oh, there's... There's Belle. Hold on. Oh. Oh. I got 45 seconds with the water. Oh, jeez. I was going to invite Amy to the party, but now I was like, oh, crap, I got to go quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I see side quests. We might have some... Uh We might have some uh, ether currents to, to, to find. Ooh, 30 seconds this time. They're pushing us. And with an iPhone, might need an update I had to early today. Maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe they're preparing for the, the release of Sonic Dream Team. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I like how uh, it turns out that Ishtola is dressed like the, the people of this of this land that she's joining with. I, I like that that's sort of where their uh, arc, uh, fashions kind of come from. Well met, travelers. I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you need of something? You watered the crops. Ah, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I have been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops was always Tadia's duty, but she she is no longer with us. I have since taken to sharing the duty, though never with guests. You are most kind. Is there anything else we can do to help? We could plant something if you like. There is no need. The pilot is small, it is true. The plot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. I don't know how you manage. 
Had the Blessed not considered leaving, life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know our history, how our faith came to be? Uh, yes, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which ultimately decided to strike out on its own in the Raktika Greatwood. I see you've read your history, but there's a history that is told and one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the Knights Blessed lost everything, their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those lost to the Flood when their bodies were reborn, were reborn as Sin Eaters. The people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. Uh, Kobama, I have completed 100% um, Yoshi's um, Woolly World and Crafted World and New Island. That's it. Bad Fox is interesting. I'm doing this content at the same time as you. It makes it fun, doesn't it? It's why it's why I kind of hope that Amy and I are able to reach the uh, like catch up by the time Dawn Trail releases in the summer. But soon they realized that, that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found new faith, a belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond those burning skies in the sunless sea above. I had to for a guide. <laughs> uh, Karagosa. That is why we pray for the safe passage of wayward souls unto that blessed black ab abyss, for the return of the night that we might someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. She has a great design. We remain in these words for the selfsame reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity with the shade of these trees as a constant reminder of our faith. Uh, Colux, I have not updated my list in a while and I need to do that, but um, I uh, just haven't had a chance. I, most of my shelves are empty at the moment, and it's hard to catalog things because, well, anytime Kai comes up to the room, he wants to grab all my games. <laughs> so I, I've just had to keep them away. So I haven't had a chance to really update my list of the, the games I've owned, completed, all that stuff. But if you have any ideas or questions, feel free. I know most, most of them off the top of my head. With so many seeking paradise in Yomor, it's refreshing to find people who value a humbler existence. You were kind to say so. Many consider our faith, our way of life foolish, so so and so it must and so it must seem to those who yet cling to their worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast to material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts, to keep alive the legacy they have left us. This we, we, this we must do for them, our children and generations yet unborn. To keep their legacy alive. There's a, there's a, no, there's a, there's, you should see, uh, to the right. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Very interesting talks here, for sure. Um, let me take a look here. Let's talk to Varthon real quick. Aha! It is ether current. You! You're that guest Master Retoria was telling us about. Please, you have to help me. I've searched high and low, but I can't find my friend Car Carnus anywhere. I fear he's run off to Fort Gone again. It's where we grew up, but it was abandoned years ago after the Sin Eaters were atta attacked. The place is teeming with all manner of beasts now, and Master Batori has expressly forbidden anyone from setting foot there. I don't know what's gotten into him lately, but we have to find him before he gets hurt. If you should, if you should find him first, you'll want to tell him our password. Tuck to. 
He's a skittish sort, so don't delay in telling him so he'll know you'll know you mean you mean no harm. Blah. Uh, let's see here. All the way back there. Why not? You gotta remember the way to actually get out of here. <laughs> this way. Yep, back to the Lahi. It's an ether current. We uh, we love our ether currents. You know, Sai, if you're gonna be so close, I might as well hitch a ride. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Excited for the third Sonic film? I'm curious about it, for sure. Seems like good uh, artwork of um, Shadow, at least, uh, so far. So I'm curious how that's going to turn out. All right, looks like we have a little bit further south to go. No worries. There we go. Ah, there he is. Tuck to. You, you're from Slither's Bow? Varthon must have sent you then. I was fine until that damned beetle. It's only a scratch, but I'm starting to feel numb and my vision's grown clouded. Worst of all, I dropped my only vial of serum somewhere in these damned woods. Can you find it for me? <laughs> oh, no worries, Alpha. You got me close. I haven't seen any other ether currents. Oh, there's an ether current, speaking of. Cool. I bet you like her. Mm hmm. God, this song is so good. <laughs> I know it's a meme, but it's just like you get you sort of lost in it. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't realize they released an Inside Out 2 trailer. Didn't even see it. There you are. Did you find it? Oh, they're so can put a fan fest rendition of the song. Nice. Thank you. I should be fine now after a bit of rest. What were you thinking coming back here? You could have been killed. I had to, Varthon, for my father. Yep, that's uh, cool. Good for you. Back to Slither's Bow. Nope, oh, you're ahead of me now because I went off to do the uh, side quest. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, it's all right. 
I took on the one with it involves the ether current. And finish that up quick because I wasn't sure how long it takes you to catch up to me. Done cred tending to the crops already. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm. Very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Runer. In the woods, Sin Eaters. I fear they may have the touch. Where? In the grove to the southwest. For a mercy, they've yet to wander any closer to the to Slither's Bow. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. But sir, what of Tadia, of Tadia's heart, Hearthstone? It must, excuse me, it must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for Sin Eaters to appear. Are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. But if they indeed have the touch, I will not risk them corrupting one of our own. What was, the, what was that you said about a stone? A few days past, Tadia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste we failed to notice her necklace was gone. Strung to it was a pendant of jade, her heart stone. All the knights blessed are given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the heartstone of the deceased at their funeral as an offering to the heavens, but now... Oh, good night, Cat Evie. Take care. What if, what if I could find it for you? I have experienced fighting Sin Eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Master Matoria called you Minfilia, did she not? Are you truly THE Minfilia, descended from the Oracle? Even so, I dare not ask you to risk your life for the Blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need and I can help. Please let me do this. Very well, but if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I could never forgive myself if we were for forced to hold a second service. I nearly forgot about Thancred. What if he returns before I do? Don't worry, I'll come with you. Thank you. With you at my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly and may the shadows keep you both. What's that? He's in a... right there. He's in a tree. <laughs> so where are you at? Uh, lost but not forgotten. So have you talked to... Have you gone to the dest... Oh, it's, hey, that worked out. That destination was... I should have waited. Oh, well. It's all good. We get to meet up there. By the way, in that, uh, you'll head past it, but in that um, area where you first met Minfilia and got, you know, targeted, uh, there was an ether current. So keep an eye out for that. If you look to the left in there, in that area, there's an uh, ether current on, on, on the upper portion of one of them. Mm -hmm. I didn't want you to miss it. We gotta be able to fly. <clears throat> Here we are. I 
thought we were getting attacked by a beetle. <laughs> um. Hmm. She's so simply dressed compared to everybody else. <laughs> there, the Sin Eaters. Oh, yeah. Definitely recognize them. I was hoping there would only be one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. Perhaps we should split them up. Good idea. I'll draw one away while you handle the other. She can handle herself. Even though I feel like Thancred would kill me. Things nothing. Let's see how Minfilia is doing. Actually, I'll wait next to Minfilia since Amy's <clears throat> nearly caught up to me. That way, we're actually synced up for once <laughs> in this stream. Actually, you know what? I'll just go. Can't wait with Amy. I'll help. <laughs> I, yeah, I remembered you were a white mage. I'm like, she's gonna want help. <laughs> You're welcome. We got quite the group. <laughs> Look at that, she did it. Good on her. Oh, you're turning that in first. <coughs> Excuse me. There you are. It's done, though I fear I was a bit careless. I'll do better next time, I promise. Oh, glad you made it home, uh, Breaking Free. I'm fine. You needn't worry about me. More importantly, we have to find that hearth hearthstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the, br in the brush. Well, that's a wide search area. When I find it, I'll wait there, Amy, so you can easily get to it as well. Oh, found it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not it, because it's, uh, there's multiple. This is probably not it. It's one of those where there's multiple and you have to find the right one. Uh, maybe, probably. Oh, good night, Lon Lon. Have a driving lesson to do early in the morning. Don't want to be sleepy on the wheel. That's a good point. So, yeah. Definitely get some sleep. Get some rest. Up oh, over here, Amy. Next to where that, <laughs> where the quest is. Trying to see where you're at. I don't see you though. No, oh, there you are. Yep, right there. But yeah, thank you for joining Lon Lon. Got some cool mounts, Gralia. 
Excuse me. Take down some water. <laughs> Did you have any luck? It's beautiful. This has to be it. You know, Thinkrit always said that you were a man of many talents. And I think I'm beginning to understand, to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm to be even half the hero you are. And not so much sore throat, just getting over a bit of a cough. Huh? <clears throat> the hero she was. Oh, I'm sorry, forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slither's Bow. Runor and the others pr are prob probably worried. Honestly, I don't really think of Minfilia as a hero, just more of a commander. <laughs> I think you have to get, get more of that hero sense maybe from 1.0. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I think she's getting told off. Yep, she's getting told off. Well, thank good. <laughs> thank goodness you're safe. I had begun to fear the worst. By all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with her service as planned. These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits unto the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. Oh yeah, here's a here's a one for you. It'd be interesting to see if we actually got. What if what if we actually got Silk Song at uh, the Game Awards? Wouldn't that be something? Ah, hand uh, offers. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the Blessed. I must insist that you and your friends attend Tadia's service as honored guests. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go and inform the others it will be held in the darker. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. Milan and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away, and we helped them recover a lost heirloom in the, out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. There were Sin Eaters and... As long as he accompanied you, but do try to be more careful. Your injuries could could have been a lot worse. How did you? Let's just say a little bird told me, and it's telling how me it's telling me now that Milan has business with us. Is something the matter? They've asked us to, to to attend the service. Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? Well, we'll take care not to be late. I promise. I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah. That's a cool cavern. <laughs> I like the candles. The elderly elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over it at a nearby corner where you may place it. Hmm. 
It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Let us begin. <clears throat> hmm. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. I believe it, Bat Fox. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. They're going to be so happy when we take out the Light Warden. Now I wondered if the others might glow. Of that determined look. <clears throat> I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. Oh, what are you going to say? And what did you say? <clears throat> I'll try. I don't deserve such reverence. I'm curious about that one. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you oh. deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. No, it would be good to take. Them real night, right? Yeah. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will?
forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. <coughs> Sooner than later, in fact. Yep, she translated it. Arionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. If we don't, who will? A very original Menphilia thing to say. That is true. Oh, definitely uh, Jane Linebeck. Other stores in 14, pretty much anyone could have done what we did, but Shadowbringers, we truly are the only one who could do it. I mean, there are moments where... Um, <clears throat> there are moments where like we can withstand things that other people can't. So there are instances of that, but this is definitely the most that the world's been on our shoulders. Good you're here. <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Cool. Let's get my new uh, hand gear. Eh. Their hand gear. I'm going to be mismatching in my outfit, but that's okay. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire and was likely written under the direction of, under the, direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring na nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their, dis in their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. And you think this ancient petition will somehow get us, help get us to Xmaja? Indeed we do. For etched onto the, into this tablet is a method by which one might, may prove themselves an ally of the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant a safe passage. The problem, however, is that I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient Ronkin text and translations into a more modern dialect, which, come, which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Uh, where can we find this monument? Here in Scythia, it's quite close to Slither's Bow, in fact. The good news ends there, however, for it is in the possession of a rather radical faction of Dark Worshippers, the Children of Everlasting Dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their, in their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will uh, nevertheless require time to transcribe the text that I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I am afraid I must ask you and Thancred to, uh, to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. All right, I'll stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. Such a grand gesture, Ayange. <sighs> then let us convene to the west of convene outside to the west of Slither's Bow, where the path diverges.
Nothing like having a horse in the. Oops, went in the wrong direction. Oops. Hmm. It's definitely been a more chill, thoughtful set of story we've had with this section. More about involve in engrossing yourself in the culture. All set. The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish to simply rush in. A guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has ought to share of their recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and alert. I would avoid confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so they cleansed their victims of sin and ushered them into the sunless sea. I'd rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. Yeesh. Out of curiosity. Ooh, 220 to the northeast. That's not far. Should see that ether current this soon, then. Ah, oh, there it is. Right on the path. Cool. I'm sure you saw it too, Amy. Are you ahead of me or behind me? You're a bit behind me, that's alright. I'll wait till you get to the ether current. Back from making the bed last. I'm curious why you're making the unless you're changing sheets, I'm curious why you're making the bed when you're about to go to sleep. Probably not too far from going to sleep. Maybe. Right over here. There you are. What the heck are you riding? A crab? That's amazing. Also, I got a few gear pieces. <laughs> gear pieces? How? Oh, oh, yeah, I've been doing the same. Well, you can take a look at mine as well. Let's see what your, how your gear is matching up now. Oh, no. Why are you wearing the helmet? Hide that, Amy. That looks <laughs> terrible. Oh, my God. What's the other thing you got? Oh, where is in the pants? Oh, hold on. Oh my god. Look what they give me. It's ugly. They give me something nice. The frock, yeah. Oh my god, that's terrible. Yeesh. If you wear that other thing, okay, take... I'm, right? Isn't that better? If I did that, I would never see my. If I did that, I would never see my face on because I always have. I'd always have a helmet on. <laughs> I think we took care of him. Time say, Gemma Vera, ugly helmets are never a problem. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, pointy hat, pretty hats are a problem. <laughs> By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you are unharmed. 
We would have arrived sooner, but we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You're an acquaintance of Master Matoya, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange. What have you seen? I've not glamoured myself once, great, great bee man. I don't, I don't know why. I just, I, I'm saving it. They said that's end game, so I'm just saving it till I reach that point, I guess. At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary, the usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in such in much greater numbers, as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nest where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of, spi of, of spiders. Set them loose on the nest, and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have anything we might uh, be able to use? We should have smoke bombs at the outpost post just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search about for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Flamingo decided to come at me. <laughs> All right, smoke bomb on the beehive. Probably a good idea to just get in the. I've been having trouble with pigs lately, so I'm giving all these wild swine a wide berth. <laughs> there it is. We haven't fought bees in a long time, have we? <laughs> That's Realm Reborn stuff. <laughs> hey, what'd that say? A burlap sack large enough to fit a dwarf. <laughs> what the heck? I'm just going to stuff a dwarf inside this sack. <clears throat> I don't know, it's just kind of funny to, just, you know, think about stuffing a Lollafell in this thing. Buzzing burlap sack, for God's sake, don't let him out. <laughs> oh, that's good.
The guard returned to Slither's bow, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, Thinker and I were successful in acquiring what we need. How did you fare? <clears throat> This is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. Ooh, new foot gear after, after this. The children's settlement is to the west, a place they called Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spider's nests. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. <coughs> I see what your mound is, Amy. Show off. <laughs> right behind you. I'm, I'm jumping. Oh, I got my chocobo out. Well, my flying chocobo they gave me. <laughs> Gotta love the posse joining us. <laughs> nope, I went around. Nothing will ever top the, uh, the important gloves. These gloves are important by virtue of you, of you being able to pick them up. I love the <laughs> I love the item descriptions in 14 sometimes. I always read it just in case there's something really funny like that. Oh yeah, feel free, uh, feel free, fetch. We're going to be playing for about another 20-ish minutes before we call it a session. Up there is the airway. Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though we should probably loosen the ropes to keep it, keeping it closed, enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? That should do it. Now we wait. What is that? Bees! By the abyss, they're everywhere! Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! Sounds like our plan is working. Still, it's quite likely not not all were drawn away by their po from their posts. If you, should, if you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it that any signs of struggle are concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy a stolen more time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you're both ready. <laughs> That's a cool mount. There we go. Amy just ran by them. I think I know how that's going to go eventually. Oh my god. I can't believe you didn't get fully attacked. That's amazing. Oh, that this mount was the Shadowbringers Collection Edition mount. I, right, all those are 50% off. I have to... Is there any really good of the pre-order... Uh, not the pre-order, the collector's edition versions. You know what? You want to fight? I'll fight. Looks like I pushed the wrong button.
What the? Oh, <laughs> I somehow clicked on a button that somehow made YouTube, which was on another uh, tab, start playing. And I'm like, I started hearing some call me Johnny. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> How am I getting that? Oh my gosh, did you notice the name of the, t uh, the quest, Amy? Yes. If you get a collector's edition to upgrade, you get all the goodies from every single one. I don't know, I'll have to look and see. <laughs> Care Ghost at 77. <coughs> Excuse me. The font of seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not place this near potential distractions from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. Ah, uh, yes, the, perfect, the the amazingly stealthy mount that I have. Yes, this is it. I will be but a moment. Keep watch of the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals of this on these walls while I look over this? At a glance, I can tell they are old, predating the founding of the Blessed and the Children, in fact. We're not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all that we can. Hardbert? Examine the murals and take note of uh, what events they may depict. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target mural, examine it with a button. Okay. The mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands uh, triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surround the warrior rejoicing in their victory. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne attended by their subjects. Yeah, it definitely looks like the the party. The mural appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from an encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. That's definitely hard, Bert. Throughout history, the age of gods, Who's out there? the empire of Ronka, <laughs> oh. and this. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it, slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. He oh, that outfit. <laughs> back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka. He was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? Hmm. I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way, after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it 
seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Oh, yeah. Oh, the faded, isn't it? Better the others. You might be right. Scrape it off the wall. Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. I like these interactions with Ardbert. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. I believe I now have everything I ne everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Milan, do the murals appear to be of any significance? <clears throat> Depictions of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. Though it has no bearing in, on the task at hand, perhaps that knowledge may prove of use in, to be of use in the future. <clears throat> New boots. Eh, they're okay. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have accepted that. I thought I had, I, oh crap. I thought I had done the thing. I gotta go back. Honestly, not looking too shabby. The red and the middle kind of works. Either way, <clears throat> no, it's all right. I that's my fault. Oh, Sayo, thank you. I'd probably, flying there would definitely be faster. Sorry, you got to go back to the unwanted proposal. <clears throat> Entire second half to this place. There we go. Thank you. Yep, right there. Appreciated. <laughs> I just got click happy. After we've returned, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Runar will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover anything of import, you will be the first to know. And now I teleport. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh well. There's a running gag with Runar and his cooking. Oh boy. It's either really good cooking or really bad cooking. There's never there's never an in-between. <clears throat> no, we got uh, another ether current. Say aren't you Milan? Master Matoria speaks quite highly of you. <clears throat> I'm sure you've more more important things to concern yourself with, but I need help and there's no one else I can turn to. It's my friend friend, Quinfort. Uh, ever since we were young, he's always excelled in the arcane arts. Even in fact, even now, he's in training to become a priest of the Nice Blessed. <clears throat> uh, perhaps the greatest of his gifts is clairvoyance, but I fear it's taken its toll on his mind of, as of late. He's always been different, but not like this. He's changed, frighteningly so. The others think him no stranger than usual, but they're wrong, and I mean to prove it. 
You don't know him like we do, which is precisely why I'd like you to talk with him, get, to get an objective opinion on the matter. Assuming we can find out what ails him, I hope the if there's a way to cure it. Alright. Uh, where does that take us? Oh, just over there. Cool, I'll do that. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Excuse me about that. <laughs> As foretold by the will of the wood, we meet at last. I've been expecting you, Milan. Shh, no one, must, uh, no one else must hear of this. Not yet. My dreams are plagued with visions of the future. Calamity is upon us, and each night I witness our impending doom. But hope is not yet lost, for the dreams speak to me of a savior in the form of a great serpent. He was revered in, as, as a god in the days of the Ronkin Empire, and I believe it yet lives in the Great Wood, waiting to be roused from slumber. It has many names. Many would call it the Protector, some the Great Destroyer. The will of the woods demands I find this great serpent. serpent. It is our only hope of salvation. I have been chosen, Milan, to be the savior of Slither's Bow. So this is where you two have been hiding. Now that you've gotten to know one another, what do you think? Uh, why not? I fear his, his dreams are an ill omen. That's what I said. Oh, did you? Do you believe him? Oh dear, I feel I've made a terrible mistake. Please don't tell me you two have communed with the will of a star or some such nonsense. Fallon, please, we're in the midst of our most important discussion. Who's feline? Uh, Raleigh has a feline minion. Oh, nice. When you first began talks of these dreams and delusions, I held my peace, but I won't let you drag anyone else into this. Such narrow-minded thinking is, is why only I have been chosen by the wood, so by, by the great serpent. Yes, Quinfort, whatever you say. You've mocked me for the last time, Valen. I will summon the Great Serpent this very day and prove to you the, the truth of my visions. Quinfort, wait, where are you going? I don't know why everybody's saying scree. I don't either. To meet with misfortune would likely bring him to his senses, but he's my friend and I can't stand the thought of him getting hurt out there. Will you help me look for him? If anything should happen to him, I'll never forgive myself. Well, let's do the main quest and see where that takes us. And then we'll go to him. Try to be efficient with this once again. <coughs> Are you going there directly? No. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, good night, Kabama Pones. Take care. <laughs> Milan, the guard told me you left with Master Matoria to wove an oath, and no sooner do you return than she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. Uh, but she is safe, and that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat there by the fire? The stew will be soon ready. Having a seat. Oh yeah, we are about to end off soon. I lost track of time. I have so much fun. <laughs> I love the way I sit. Strange cat boy. Others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others?
The red and black works. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? Ooh, what's going on here? The blessing may spare him the fate of becoming a light warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. He is not as he was in the source. Oh. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that he has been suffused with their light. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. Hmm. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed. Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Help! Oh, man. What a the time for an interruption. We're under ah, crap, the Umorans. <coughs> <coughs> Well, that's an interesting possibility. Ooh, meanwhile in Yomor. Oh god, this guy. Oh, thus the running gag starts. We never get to eat it because we're always interrupted. <laughs> Zorn and Thorn. I will never see them otherwise. <laughs> Good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. And you as disingenuous. <laughs> Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness, they have slain sin eaters. And by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in them. Oops. And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg Rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. I love how he talks about the people starving when they show just all the food surrounding this guy. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. 
I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Mm. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. Uh -huh. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. Delusions of grandeur. Lovely. A paradise fit to grace the eighth unknown era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. Hmm. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now. And the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making? Or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord Forthry. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know, that their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future Thought. that will build. <clears throat> I wonder if Vothri is the uh, Light Warden. I was just wondering Because you notice that heart, that head that's stuck out of his chest? Yeah. Yeah, I bet he's a Light Warden. Even bother. Fools, a lot of you. So naive, so painfully predictable. Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until too. after this meeting mm -hmm. to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Insurrection will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. And you are no exception. What? How did he? Insolent swine! I will not stand for this! God, that body is just... Do you hear me? Ugh. <clears throat> Getting some interesting plot drops that are here at the end. Oh god, him again. Blessed. I do. 
I presume that is your doing. If you will come to Parley, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. My Lord Vorsri's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmore. You will henceforth answer to us. Is that so? <laughs> and the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmore's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. Yeah, no. <laughs> In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. Uh huh. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmore to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, that you may have time to prepare. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our faith to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. Mm hmm And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to Yulmore and dealt with as such. Just that constant threat of Ranjit. Oof. these developments after I have tended to our casualty. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, does it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it might be. The Yomar has gained a foothold here in these woods, but was ill for the Knights Blessed. Surely there's something we can do to help Knights Blessed, isn't there? The guard hath been afflicted with the most terrible and eff eff efficacious poison. We have attempted all manner of healing incantations, and al alas, his condition remains unchanged. At present, at present, we can but slow the poison's advance. I pray it will afford us sufficient time to find a cure. All right. Did you accept put to the proof yet? Uh, we should be fine to accept it, and we'll just do that. Great Deceiver quest.
more of a cutscene than I thought there would be, honestly. How fareth the young guard? The poison spread throughout his system long before he was brought here. At present, there is not we can do but try to ease his pain. Do not blame yourselves, my friends. All that can be done has been done. Even as had we reached him sooner, it would have been ma it would have made little difference. The children employ countless poisons. Finding a suitable antidote is not a nigh impossible task. What are the rest of the blessed? How have they taken the news of Yomor's generous proposi proposition? With anger and dismay, we cannot hope to oppose both them and the children. I considered a convocation of the, all the knights blessed that we might consider their ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Matoya, I am truly sorry. We will not, cannot, abandon our faith. But there is no reason for you to suffer for our decision. Your work is not yet done, and you still have time to flee. Flee? I am not wont to run for my troubles. In fact, with Milan's arrival, I am minded to take the offensive. The Yamoran's presence here plainly stems from a desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay the creature before they return. Were darkness to fall over Raktika, they would have no cause to remain. All of which is rather easier said than done, unless of course you finally deciphered that tablet. I have as a matter of fact, and with it we can prepare everything we need to enter Yashmaja. What say you all? We will need to act quickly, but I believe it can be done. We cannot deny our fate, but one course lieth before us. What are you going to say? I'll say before we slay the Light Warden. Good. I leave the Blessed in your capable hands, Runar. Very well. I figured. With that long of a pause, I figured it had to be the same thing. I see there is no changing your mind. By all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. According to the tablet, we will first need to obtain a seal used to identify the allies of Ranka in times past. One such seal should be waiting for us in a, in a complex of underwater ruins not far from here. You have some experience with subaquatic excursions, do you not? Mm, excuse me. Then this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins we seek are at the bottom of Lake Tusi Mekta. While you see to that, Minfili and I will remain here to help shore up the Slither Slitherbow's defenses. Your aid would be greatly appreciated. Alright. We have our mission to find and slay the Light Warden in time, but before we end that off, let's go finish off this other quest. Get our Aether Current. It's hard to stop playing. The game's so fun. Right, Amy? Screen time? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this, mu this, whatever this thing is has to be scree time, so. Yeah. Over there, I think I see him. There's Ishtola. <laughs> We're gonna avoid her for now. Yeah. We don't want Ishtola, we want this thing over here. In the swamp. Nice mech. Enough, Quinfort. Even you should you recognize the danger of even you should recognize the danger of wandering off alone in these woods. Well, he's happy. You really have gone mad, haven't you? 
Mock me all you like, Valen, but now you will bear witness to the truth with your own eyes. Behold, the divine protector of Ranka, the great serpent of legend. No, it can't be. Oh my, that's what this thing is? That's what I was riding. That's the great serpent? I see nothing great about that. That What is that exactly? I refuse to believe that it is, it's a serpent. I have seen this thing around 14 players for all times. And they always say scree, but I have. I wonder if they was referring to this guy. Oh my god. Please tell me you're joking. Ah, don't be jealous, Valen. The will of the wood works in mysterious ways, and this serpent is the key to our deliverance. I'm guessing going through this quest gets us that as a minion. <laughs> Slither along. Slither along. Yeah. Oh, this is the beginning of the tribal quest. Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, I will do that another time. We've already gone late, so I'm just going to return to uh, uh, Slither's Bow and call it a session there. This quest is one of the starting points to unlock the tribal quest that gets you the minion and the mount. Okay, well, there you go, Amy. But yeah, that is Final Fantasy XIV for now. I'm going to guess by the, uh, the the end of next session we'll be able to finish off um, the uh, still level 74 quest. We'll be able to finish off the uh, Raktika Greatwood uh, storyline. My god, oh, there, there's my god, that, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah, I appreciate all of you uh, for being here. Really do appreciate it. Uh, of course, we'll be back next Wednesday to play more Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and of course, on Sunday will be more Nier Automata, while Monday will be more uh, Dongan Rampa Ultra Despair Girls. And uh, <clears throat> let's see here, who can who can we raid? We've got oh, quite the selection. We got Blueberry playing Ocarina of Time. We got Miss Fushi playing Lethal Company, and Master Wuggles playing Sea of Thieves. Any preferences? And yeah, we can, I guess, raid with uh, Scree. I feel like uh, we've raided Blueberry more recently than Fushi, so we can, we'll probably go with Fushi. <laughs> Everybody's ready for their Screes. <laughs> All right, yes, we, we will raid Fu Fushi her lethal company. I think she plays 14. She did a little bit, but not as much as uh, Blue. Oh, okay. That's all right. Um, go ahead and start that raid. Either way, thank you all so much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. There's Amy again. Thank um, you. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you next Wednesday for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers and... Uh, hopefully on Sunday for Nier Automata and Amy's streams of uh, Ace Attorney uh, 2 where we're in the case 4 so good stuff there thank you all for being here really Hi, do appreciate everyone. it You're the best. bye